In March 2019, America's Federal Aviation Administration was forced to ground all Boeing 737 MAX planes after two disastrous accidents. The decision came days after the second crash when President Trump ordered the grounding of every single 737 MAX. But America was actually the last country to ground the plane after Canada, the UK, Germany, France, and even China had swiftly banned the use of new 737s. The safety of the American people, of all people, is our paramount concern, said the president, and nobody opposed the decision, except perhaps for the powers that be at Boeing. But more of that later. The Boeing 737s were one of the world's most used passenger planes for shorter flights, due to their larger seat capacity. However, the FAA had no choice but to ground one of the Boeing's premier models. They remained there on the tarmacs for almost two years in most countries. Finally, in 2021, the 737 Maxes were gradually given clearance to head back to the skies, albeit with a significant amount of distrust and anxiety from passengers, crew, and potential travelers. The first crash occurred in October of 2018 in Indonesia, when a plane departing from Jakarta soon plummeted into the Java Sea, killing 189 people. The next was in early March of 2019. A plane flying from Ethiopia to Kenya suffered problems after takeoff and thus crashed claim 149 lives. In all, 346 people have died in the Boeing accidents. Intense investigations went underway immediately with a particular focus on the plane's design systems and training programs. What made the whole thing so shocking was the fact that Boeing was the world's biggest commercial airplane manufacturer, which meant that its reputation took a serious hit after not one, but now two horrific accidents. And the personal tolls and losses from the tragedies can just never be measured. However, the damage done to Boeing can be, and it was significant. Boeing's stock plummeted by 10%, and the CEO was stood down for poor management, and the company was paid out some $200 million to investors who claimed to have been misled. This was topped off in 2021 with Boeing having to cough up a whopping $2.5 billion in fines and compensation. Ouch. And that says nothing of the long-term damage to Boeing's image that inevitably comes with such serious incidents. So, what are the 737 MAX planes and what exactly is thought to have caused the accidents? The 737s were developed in a bid to compete with the similar European Airbus A320 planes. The Boeing 737 models, nonetheless, are the world's biggest selling planes, with the 737 MAX planes being especially popular for short and medium routes. The MAX planes were designed to fly further than previous models and were therefore fitted with bigger and more efficient engines. The size of the engines meant Boeing moved them slightly forwards on the base of the plane. This positional change meant that the plane's nose had a tendency to rise up. This is dangerous during a flight as a raised engine can cause it to stall and malfunction. To counter this, Boeing came up with its maneuvering characteristics augmentation system, known simply as MCAS. The function of the MCAS was to detect any rising of the plane nose and then push it back down. This cutting-edge technology in aerospace was to become a key focus with investigators in the months following the crashes in Indonesia and Ethiopia, as was the Boeing pilot training program and the overall system of safety procedure at the company. When investigators launched their thorough and detailed inquiries as to how the two calamities occurred, they revealed alarming similarities that further damaged the public's trust in Boeing and led to some massive upheavals within the organization and severe penalties. As a reminder, the first crash happened on October 29, 2018. Lion Air Flight 610 took off from Jakarta Airport in Indonesia. The plane was pretty much brand new, but started malfunctioning not long after takeoff. The pilots made a distress call before losing contact, and the 737 MAX crashed into the Java Sea. The second accident occurred on March 10th of 2019, when Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 took off, heading to Kenya. Again, this plane was only a few months old. Again, the flight crew was, began experiencing problems almost straight away and radioed for help. Flight 302 crashed just six minutes after taking off. In October 2019, Indonesian investigators released their findings to the Lion Air crash. A year later in 2020, Ethiopian investigators announced the results of their inquiry. Both investigations came to the same damning conclusions. The first was that the much-lauded Boeing 737 MAX MCAS had serious flaws. The second was that there seemed to be a concerning lack of training given to flight crews before flying the 737s. Although there were several other factors contributing to both crashes, the overwhelming evidence pointed to a faulty MCAS and an insufficient training program. These are hardly the types of issues that you would associate with the world's leading aerospace manufacturer, but 
Both Indonesian and Ethiopian investigators found that the MCAS caused serious problems by continually pushing down the plane's noses. As flight crews struggled to correct the automated interferences, they soon lost track of their speed, altitude, and ultimately just control of their planes. Added to this was that both planes also lacked the warning light, which would have alerted pilots to the malfunctioning MCAS system. Boeing's innovative technology had come back to bite them, and hard. The investigators from both crashes also looked into how much training the pilots had received before flying the 737 MAX planes, and they were alarmed at what they found. Despite the 737 MAX models being very different planes from regular 737s, Boeing provided very little specialized training. Both the Indonesian and Ethiopian flight crews were given scant information about the MCAS systems in their training manuals, and this was essential, as MCAS was a new and unknown technology. But it soon came to light that this lack of training wasn't restricted to the unfortunate Indonesian and Ethiopian crews. Pilots worldwide began to complain that they had received little, if any, support or heads-up training before flying the 737 MAX planes. The outrage grew when it was revealed that the training for American Airlines crews was a one-hour session on an iPad. 60 minutes on an iPad to learn how to fly what it was essentially a brand new plane. Yeah, that's that says all that it needs to. All attention turned to the Boeing and FFA administration. It was clear that they had rushed pilots through the training periods in order to save time and expenses. And it cost lives. Expenses. So what would be done about it? The U.S. Congressional inquiry was brutal in its review of Boeing and the FFA. Particular criticism was levied at both parties for failing to voluntarily ground the 737 MAX planes. Instead, watching on as governments around the world made the call. Suspicions furthermore arose as to whether Boeing and the FFA had known about possible phones with the MAX planes. This was proven to be true when text messages between test pilots revealed huge concerns regarding the reliability of the MCAS. In December of 2019, Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg was fired for his poor administration and his lack of transparency. The company lost an estimated $20 billion with the groundings and, most critically, a huge amount of trust amongst anyone traveling by air. The crash has led to Congress imposing strict regulations on the FFA for certifying planes in the future. The amount of training mandated for any pilot required to fly any new aircraft or use any new technology was also completely overhauled. Even now, as the 737 MAX planes are back in the air, Boeing is understandably continuing to face widespread skepticism, despite the profuse apologies and the substantial payouts. If anything, it's a valuable lesson for any corporation or organization. If you're even slightly tempted to take the shortcut for a possible reward or a gain, think of who you're putting at risk. Think again. Think of Boeing. <laughs>